CSIRO is embarking on the world's very first release of the flax leaf fleabane biocontrol agent, which is a rust fungus. The fungus is suspended over the top of the recipient plant simply like this, and then we cover it with a bag. It's a pathogen that infects the leaves of fleabane. When it infects the leaves of fleabane, it essentially lives inside the body of the plant and it's eating the inside of the plant out and reducing the ability for the plant to grow and set seed. So by, in, by being infected with the fungus and by reducing the overall performance of the plant, we should be able to reduce the invasion potential of that plant in a crop setting. So with any biological control program for a target weed, we'll go through a rigorous risk assessment process. The first step is to go back to the country of origin of where the weed is from, what we term its native range, and identify potential candidate biocontrol agents in that native range. But the risk assessment itself is when we bring that biocontrol agent back to an Australian context in a quarantine facility, a high security quarantine facility, to test the safety of that biocontrol agent on what we term non-target plant species. They are everything from native vegetation, crop species, ornamental plants, horticulturally important plants, to ensure that that biocontrol agent only attacks the target weed and has no potential for negative spillover effects to those other uh, desirable vegetation targets. Where we're at now with the program is to work with farmers and different growers and stakeholder groups to help CSIRO release the fungus at different areas and then monitor over the next few months how well the fungus performs on farm in different growing contexts. It is highly specific to that target weed and that there is no risk of that spilling over to other plant species, particularly Australian native plant species and crops of high value. We have a huge amount of interest from people. We've made already this spring 300 different releases of the fungus throughout Australia in the range of this weed. We provide people with instructions, uh, but we also most importantly provide people with a sample of the fungus that we have cultured in our laboratory environment for people to release into the environment at different places that are most suitable to them. Fleabane is a weed of great significance in the Murrumbidgee irrigation area because it goes across a number of cropping types as well as uh, permanent horticulture. It grows around fence lines and channel banks and around infrastructure on the farm so it can be difficult to access to control with chemicals. So the biocontrol will be fantastic because you can release it and it'll just do its thing. So, you know, the potential is tremendous. In the short term, we are absolutely not expecting to completely reduce the impact that fleabane has in a local crop setting. At best, we can get the fungus established within the next few growing seasons. Once that fungus becomes established, we hope that it actually will be sustained through the local environment and will be able to spread itself without any further interventions from humans to slowly reduce the impact that fleabane has in crop. So the Aero-Wide Management of Weeds project is all about getting different people together to control weeds of significance. So rather than farmers controlling weeds on their spot and Murrumbidgee Irrigation controlling weeds on channel banks and then council trying to control weeds on roadsides, it's about getting everybody together to work to control these weeds. So we're using less resources more wisely and having a better outcome, which is the control of these weeds. So what we're saying to growers is, if you get the fungus and you want to release it on your property, don't release it in your crop. Find those areas where it's been very difficult to manage fleabane. Pick a roadside, pick a fence line, an irrigation embankment, areas where it's very difficult for you to manage fleabane. Release the fungus there. If it establishes and persists in those environments, and if it does reduce the reproductive output and the seed set for fleabane, that's just less weed seed blowing back into your crop. Landscape area-wide suppression of the weed to reduce invasion potential back into your crop in the long term.
So very simply, if people are interested to get in touch and learn more about this process and how they can get involved in the future, contact us by email or phone. We can talk about expressions of interest. We can register your interest for a potential future release of the agent.